kicked my daughter. They stopped my daughter at the ground. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. What well, I go on my people, hope everybody you know okay, hope everybody you know alright. You see, since nobody know what I tell you, no, I think I've cracked the puzzle, yeah man. Me crack the puzzle, people, I mean, I tell you no what I go on. A lot of steerers are on the road, yeah, a lot of steerers. Some people, they see with lights out there, them cannot drive. Them a steer, and them a cause all of the accident. Because this is what I mean, I understand, you know. If you reach somewhere at 7 o'clock, right, and you leave your house, Seven o'clock, you're done late already. So where you drive fast and go, and the people them not here, the people them not here. It's the people who can drive. No, I said them not supposed to speed, but the steerers and them a speed and a cause all sort of accident on the road and a kill off themselves. And yes, them come come tell me say to the people them not here. Who can hear with feeling? You know? And look them, look what happened. Same time as me tell them, see what happened. One man was killed and two others injured in a motor vehicle crash along Municipal Boulevard, also known as I-95 in Portmore, in Catching on Thursday morning. The dead man has not yet been identified. The crash, which occurred at shortly after 7 o'clock, involved a car and a van. So hold on, you know. Hold on. Why is it that you not speed on the road? I don't understand, you know. I'm telling you, say, take time on the road. Dennis Lyon, acting senior deputy superintendent in charge of the St. Catherine Division of the Jamaica Fire Brigade, said that the green Mitsubishi Lantern Toyota IS van collided head on. From some collide head on, people, somebody had overtake. Somebody was overtaking, yes, yeah, speed. Yeah, man, a speed cause that. He said the fire brigade had to use hydraulic equipment to remove the two injured persons from the vehicle, while the third person, the driver of the car, was pronounced dead at the scene by a medical doctor. You see, me always tell me, say, them now for reach hospital for pronounce nobody dead and eyes are come at that boy. No, no, no. Me tell them for walk with the dead people, them who pronounce people dead. You see, them, they make sure do that. When you see that now, so them can walk with them and pronounce their dead on the road long, 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 long time. And all that time, watch phone is my chat. See the phone itself now. The driver of the van and two passengers suffered minor injuries. The driver of the van told us that the car was attempting to overtake a line of traffic when the crash occurred. What me tell you now? What me tell you now, people? What did I tell you now? The only thing is that the person who are driver them drop out. Everybody else all right. Normally, you know. They make the passenger them drop out and them alright, but this time it's the other way around. Bet say them people are not going to no more carry with speed. You know what I bet me? Just watch. You have good cop and they have police like that one you know. A police who is attached to the Marine Division had his $1 million bail extended when he appeared in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on Wednesday. Constable Creston Martel, who is charged with breaches of the Corruption Prevention Act, is scheduled to return to court on January 13, 2021. It is reported that on July 9 this year, Investigators from the Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau arrest the cop after he allegedly solicited money from a man to prevent his ganja field in St. Elizabeth from being destroyed. A file was sent to the Officer Director of Public Prosecution, Paula Lowen, for a ruling. Me tell the Paula I work from where you know. Me, they tell him the Paula I work from where they are. We know say that the police is a crooked cop. Yeah, man, a constable. Them for lock him up. Them for lock him up and just dash with the key. Him for serve hard labor. Him for go the prison and them broke stone. Yeah, man. Him for go the prison and them broke stone. Because people like him give the force bad name. And at them bad apple, the commissioner want to get rid of him. So start with this constable. Yeah, man. Make him an example. You understand? Make him an example. The St. Catherine South Police are probing the circumstance surround the death of a man in the community of Washington Meadows in Newland, Portmore, St. Catherine, Wednesday night. Hold on, you know. Hold on, the people. 
Remember, me tell you, say, be a little water go on over on that side from where the people them know where I go on. And sometimes them hide it and then sometimes them make know where I go on now. So, the police them find a one man there and I wonder where I go on. The man is yet to be identified and no motive has been established for the shooting. The police report that resident heard explosion at about 9.30 p.m. and called them. On the arrival, the police say a man was found slumped over a steering wheel of a black Nissan AD wagon car with what appeared to be gunshot wound. Yeah, man. So, them dash it that one. Me no know what him do, but the people them that are here they can come out come tell me if him good or if him not good. Cause them know me no. Me I only know say them know me. I understand the people them know, but the people them ready for talk yet. Me tell me you know the people them normally come out come talk when they reach a few them doorstep. So I go see where I go go on now. Detectives have made an arrest in connection with the double shooting in Salt Pond Saint Catherine two months ago. Stephen Burke. 26 year old, yes, Stephen Burke, 26 year old of Hanover Street in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, has been charged with wounding with 10 illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Mr. Burke is implicated in the August 20 incident which led to the death of 19 year old Claude Smith of Salt Pond Road. The police report that Burke and two other men who were armed with guns opened fire at Mr. Smith and another man. They were taken to hospital where Mr. Smith was pronounced dead and other man admitted in serious condition. Mr. Burke was apprehended on October 30th. He was charged on Monday. Burke is to appear before the same catching parish court next week, Tuesday. I'm telling us, police are not waste time. Because there is no way a man and his friend is about to shut off a man if he go for a carry. But court. Eh? When I got court go waste time for. We not see big C time. And the judge never really want to see nobody just do the right thing and make them people them go pay fee. There's something for come out of them. Yeah, man, just do the right thing, man. DTI them, man. And that's the thing, them, man. DTI them, I mean, them people, them have to spend some money. You understand? Spend some whole heap of money to the government. Because them, a boy, yeah, when them go around that car, they and come back, you know. Them now come back to no good. And speaking of people who now come back to no good, people, I see that video, I see me start the program. I tell you, see. Me want the mothers them, yeah. The females that are on the program, I want to tell me what I need to do. If this happened to phone the daughter. With her and Tiffany. And Kaylan tried to defend Tiffany. No. Kaylan and Kima started fighting, I heard. Kima. Kima admitted to this, that she and Kaylan was fighting. Another woman by the name of Yolan came up behind Kaylan and started hitting her in the head with a Hennessy bottle. I heard that when Kaylan got the first lick with the Hennessy bottle, she fell to the ground. And Yolan, and Yolan's daughter, her name is Rusty, they call her Rusty or Timon, something like that, came into it and they all ganged up on Tiffany and Kaylan. It was about six of them on Kaylan and Tiffany. They beat my daughter. They kicked my daughter. They stabbed my daughter at the ground. Me not think for a minute it would have to summer on the daughter. No, 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 no. Me no say it now to summer on upon the program, daughter. Because I guess why? Uno abide by rules and laws. A lot of persons going to look beyond that point. Your daughter not for there no party. Me tell you no me split justice to your justice needs to be split. Yeah man, me no agree with where them do for your beat her up for your looks and them something there. But you know for they are no party I forgot to see her the big C time and the restriction where she had a road. When me see this mother you attack and me I say mommy, you should have a cry and I say your daughter in a coma and them depend on the road that walk. What kind of road that walk scratch free where? Eh? Illegal party or no illegal party, me angle my bangle myself. Yeah, man, me angle my bangle myself. I wanna know what that mean. Just ask somebody in the comment section where my views angle the bangle himself. What that mean? What it mean? Mama, nobody got a police station because police said they help you. Because they're going to charge all the data. Yeah, and charge you for make sure you out. But this world I come to your people. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Check us out.